the keynote address of the Qualcomm Snapdragon Summit just concluded and oh my god, two massive announcements over here. Qualcomm has bitten the bullet and oh my god, who would have thunk that they are reinventing and reimagining the humble, dwindling, otherwise boring, personal connected computer, alright? So along with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 mobile PC chipset, we now have Microsoft running Windows 10 S on two very exciting devices that we are going to see today, the Asus Novago and the HP X2 NV. So I'm going to talk to us about, uh, you've been tracking this, you know, always connected PC dream of uh, Microsoft. Uh, yeah. The two devices that we've seen here today, how exciting it is to finally get gigabit internet, smartphone-like, or in fact, more than smartphone, uh, 20 hours of video playback, week-long or month-long standby battery on uh, laptops and convertibles and tablets. It's a game changer because uh, I think most the problem with most tablets is that there's that one function that you need to do, which you can't get on a tablet. And now that you have a Windows 10 PC, which is like running on essentially tablet hardware, you have 20 hours of battery life, you're able to do everything that you could do with a Windows device. Uh, you have like Photoshop, I mean, it's supposed to be coming to the store soon. You have VLC, you have Chrome, you have the full desktop experience. So that is what is going to change everything. And uh, as they pointed out, when we looked at the devices, most of the devices just battery. That's how you're getting your uh, 22 hours battery life. But the other big thing is always connected. You yep. know, you're yep. using a personal computer just like a smartphone. So right from having a nano SIM card slot to eSIM on your tablets, on your PCs that we're going to see, uh, to be able to use gigabit LTE networks wherever yes. they are. Of course, in India, that's a far-fetched dream. Uh, but you know, in, in other countries like US or UK or things like that, how do you think that's going to change consumer behavior to have a laptop which behaves like a smartphone? I think the biggest deal there is what uh, Qualcomm said about latency, right? Right. So you have OneDrive with 1 TB of storage. Correct. Your laptop can have like 64 GB of storage and you can just access everything you need on the web, on the cloud. You need your files, they're on the cloud. You need your photos, videos, they're all backed up to the cloud. And like, Anybody who's working on the cloud, it's like, you're always there. There's no need to connect to another network. There's no need to connect your phone. There's no need to carry pen drives, hard disk, nothing. It's all there for you. Big game changer. And of course, with the Asus Novago, we also have an inkling or an idea of the kind of uh, budgets or the prices these yeah. devices are going to be available in. Again, very, very smartphone territory. Uh, there's a 4 GB, 64 GB model for $699. Yeah. And there is an 8 GB and a 256 GB model for $799, $800. And they are going to be launching approximately spring, they say, in US, which is about March or April yeah. 2018, when we start yeah. seeing these devices. And today, of course, they showcased uh, HP and Asus. And yeah. there's also something coming up from Lenovo, they said. At CES. At CES. Yeah. So I mean, do you see 2018 as a resurgence or the re-emergence of PCs? I think there's a good chance of that. It's like uh, Qualcomm said, uh, you, why do you need a tablet when you can carry a PC? And Is this also the death blow or the death knell for tablets? Because frankly, if I get a full-fledged laptop with extraordinary battery life, always on connectivity, uh, why will I invest in a tablet anymore? I'm not sure. I cannot see any reason why you would do that. The other thing I found very interesting, it's not the legacy player, it's not Intel that yes, is redefining yes. the PC space. It is the world's biggest phone chipset maker, Qualcomm, that is ushering us into a whole new PC era. I think Intel's promise has always been 10 hours battery life. Qualcomm has just officially doubled that. And put a lot of people out of business. <laughs> anyway, this is Anurudh and Ankit. We are signing out for now. And stay tuned to this space because we're getting you exclusive hands-on with the brand new Always Connected PCs. And of course, the second big announcement, which is Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset. Xiaomi was on stage to talk to us about how their brand new flagship is going to have the 845 chipset. We're going to be dedicating other videos for that. But this has been too much fun. Yeah.